Hello everyone, this is Carla de la Rosa King, Immigration Attorney, and today I have a frequently asked question for you. And the question is, what happens if I enter the United States with a K-1 visa or fiancé visa and I marry my fiancé but I marry him after the 90 days? Remember that when you enter the United States with a K-1 or fiancé visa, you're supposed to marry your US, your US citizen fiancé within 90 days of entry. But what happens if you marry your fiancé, but you marry him after the 90 days? Can I still adjust status? The answer to that question is yes. If you enter the United States with a fiancé visa and you marry your U.S. citizen petitioner fiancé, then you can still adjust status in the United States. But it's going to be more expensive for you because um, you, since you, you got married after this 90 days window, you now are going to have to file, in addition to the adjustment of a status application form and the filing fee for the adjustment of a status application form, you also are going to have to file the I-130 immigrant petition for alien relative and the filing fee for that form. So if you enter the United States with a fiancé visa, marry your U.S. citizen petitioner fiancé after the 90 days windows, window, you can still adjust status, but you're going to have to file, um, in addition to the adjustment of a status application form, you're also going to have to file the I-130 petition for alien relative, and you're also going to have to file that, you're also going to have to pay those filing fees. So um, if, if you enter with a K-1 um Keep in mind that you should get married within the 90 days. If you don't get married within, within the 90 days window, you can still adjust status, but it's going to be more expensive for you. Um, if you have any questions about this or any other related immigration matter, please feel free to give us a call at 773-366-1214 and schedule a consultation with me. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching.